What's up guys? Today I am a very happy father on a late Father's Day! Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy's Popeye. <laughs> we are at the RC say there's a million upstairs napping. Welcome to our crazy RC family, guys. Uh, it just, just so happens that the timing of all this worked out really nicely. I, I did get Abby a nice little present for Mother's Day. We didn't really make a big deal out of that I one. I should have wore it. Yes. It's a uh, necklace. I don't have it on. Being our first Mother's Day and Father's Day, we did kind of go all out and just went a little crazy. Uh, but, welcome to our RC family. Now, that is the Red Cat Everest Gen 7. I can't, what is it, the Pro Sport? I can't remember the names of them now. It's been too long. Uh, the point is, not long ago, less than a year ago, my very good friend Dan and I decided we were gonna buy some crawlers together. They look similar, we go crawling, have a good time. So we bought the Everest Gen 7. But like a month later, the Gen 8 came out. <laughs> And I was just kicking myself, but I, I love the Gen 7 so much, I kept it, and I thought, you know what, when the funds are available or I have an excuse to do it, I'm gonna buy the Gen 8. And finally, It looks we're... good. I like the way this looks way better than the way that one looks. You think so? Oh, yeah. Okay, looks, that's this cool. This looks like, I don't know, this, this one just looks cooler. I, I like the Gen 7 a lot, though. I have no, no major complaints about it at all. A few small complaints, but they have fixed those in the Gen 8. So this is like the dad SUV looking thing. This is like the cool dad SUV. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that. Well, let's uh, let's do this. I uh, We went to the hobby shop, picked this up, supported our local hobby shop on this one. This was on our Amazon wish list for quite a while mm -hmm. on his Amazon, but you know, I like trucks too, so mine too. <laughs> so. I think it'll be cool that we'll both have Everest. Was your Father's Day actually like a Sneaky way of me <laughs> to go. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> you fell for it. <laughs> so we have, I have spare parts and instruction manual in there. I'll probably take a closer look at that here in a bit. Uh, pretty cool if it comes with that. It's there. It, it, it does, it has a wider, at least the body has like a wider stance, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can, I might have to stand up here. Oh. There we go. I think we gotta cut some. Oh no, we didn't get this with my cutter. I always, always forget. forget. <laughs> well, I don't, uh, maybe I'm missing something, but it does come with the option to have all the extra bells and whistles for like 70 or 80 bucks. And, this, and the, all this stuff on the top. And the, the coolest part was it made it really easy to mount this awesome light bar that I got. This thing is metal. It's a super bright LED bar. But look, at the, look at the front of this. I guess I could mount that one on the front. That looks cool. Look the at the, does look like cool. this looks so neat. <laughs> I've never seen an RC track. We've never owned an RC track that looks that good on the front. It does have a lot of detail on the front, yeah. and those headlights, the, mm -hmm. they look good too. Let's cut this out at the bottom. Ah, yeah, the zip ties. <laughs> Ooh, spare tire. Okay. Does that go on the back? I'm guessing. Ooh. Oh, it feels good. Metal links on the bottom. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at the metal links. Metal links. What if the steering link is metal? Oh, it's metal. The steering link is metal. <laughs> the, uh, the little arm that connects to the link to the servo. Metal. Or, well, it might be plastic, but a chrome paint job on there. So, hey, will you do me a favor and get that Gen 7 and open it? Do you remember how it opens? It's just Velcro, Velcro on the oh, front. That's, not, that's right here. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the bumper to do it. So then it hinges up, right? And yeah. then it doesn't open all the way because I now have my lights yeah. plugged in. Uh, this one, the Gen 8, just the first glance, uh -huh, comes all the way off. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, do you like the hinge or do you like that it is removable? Removable. It's easier to work on, but also more likely that it could fall while you're like rolling down a hill. Yeah, it's not gonna fall. Yeah. That's four pieces of Velcro holding that on. It's it is four pieces anywhere. as opposed to the one up front here. The oh. whole design is this different. This feels heavier, isn't it? The whole heavier? layout of the truck is different. Oh, it is different. Yeah. Where was the battery mounted on this one? Like right here? Yeah. Like about, and then yeah. now it's centered mm -hmm. completely instead of a wide stance. It's because they, they took in the dead center. all the electronics was in the dead center of this one and now they're kind of on the spaced outside. out. Okay. Hey, the detail is nice. Now you had these like bright red. Yeah, and on these chrome they look, cr they're chrome plastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look good. Uh, I do know one of the biggest differences for me. This is a big one for me. And we were talking about this in the hobby shop too. The battery connector 
by default. Now, of course, you guys, to those of you that are good at soldering, you don't care, but to, for That's me, I, I do not like soldering. Uh, this had the old like banana style plug on there, and it came with a nickel metal hydride battery. That's fine, you can do uh, lipo if you want to. But now, right out of the box, we got Deans. And so all of my batteries, all of my truck batteries are pretty much Deans. This will just fit very happily with all of the others. That's so cool. Well, look at the bottom of these two trucks. I want to see, I want to kind of compare the bottom of them because the whole layout, it sure is different, but the bottom, other than this, the like steering, look at this, look at the yeah. steering link, how yeah, on the Gen 7, they were like vertical on top of each other. And mm -hmm. on the Gen 8 now, it kind of reaches out farther to the front. Yeah. And so the servo, the steering servo little lever, the arm, was vertical on the Gen 7 and now it's horizontal on the Gen 8. So I wonder which one actually gives more leverage, more push and power. Probably the Gen 8. They have way more red cap branding on your new one now uh -huh. too. I don't know if you've seen these little, what are, I guess they're cats, red cat. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> they have like little cat faces everywhere. And then our diffs. Now, even though right here, I, I call it like a pump, I think it's a pumpkin. Okay. Uh, this cap on the Gen 8 mm -hmm. looks metal, but it is actually plastic. They just spray painted that. It's cold. So it's, oh, oh, the guy at the hobby shop told me it was plastic. That's metal. It is metal, the isn't it? The back is plastic. Yeah, like yeah, half yeah. Of it's plastic. But the but cap, it's like, yeah. yeah, that, that is metal. It, oh, George, George, you said that was plastic. <laughs> That's metal, buddy. Okay. Now nah, he's a good guy. He's very, very, way more knowledgeable than me. He should have his own channel. That does look good. I'm really, really happy with the whole layout of this. I'm excited to drive it more than anything. So uh, this was just kind of a, a fun counterpart to Amelia's Father's Day present to me, if you if you know what I'm saying, the recently on the channel, because Abby made a very smart purchase where for Amelia, she's just a beginner in the hobby. You know, she she tried, she tried. Show she, so you can say it. <laughs> well, I can say it, yeah. Now, you just gotta show it. If it's in the video, I can. I got a tracks. Look at the size difference. Yeah. Look at the size Same difference. Same price. Same About, price. Actually, the red cow is cheaper. I thought they were both 300. This one's 330. Oh, okay. Yeah. 330. That was 300 and all. And this one comes with proprietary plugs and other things. Okay. Dean's baby. Extra tire in there. <laughs> uh, not, not totally bashing that. It's a, it's going to be a good truck. I haven't so actually driven it yet. basically, Nate really wanted to get the Traxxas on here and I really didn't and so I was like I'm getting this for you <laughs> and so I don't know this just happened just it happened. just happened so fast we were just having a good time in the hobby shop man it all just went downhill we just I want that and I want that and I need some converters and oh I need a battery while I'm here too okay, and I don't it just ha don't go to hobby shops if you have don't any tell money. No, I'm just tell them that. we bought all this stuff at the hobby shop. But seriously, when you go to the hobby shop, it's like when like when you go to the craft store. <laughs> hobby Lobby. Yeah. It's dangerous. It's scary. I don't like to go there with her anymore, and I know you, but you have fun in the hobby shop. We both it's, we're dangerous. You should go in a hobby shop with us. We'll set half the store on the counter, and then have to okay. Let's take that away. Let's take that away. George, what would you get if it was these? You know, oh. It's a scary time, but a We're good time. We're excited to get this up and running. Very and, excited. Uh, we just decided that we had that new deadbolt, the SAX 10-2 deadbolt, and uh, Nate needed some new crawlers too, so we're oh, just excited. I just got the crawler just bug. Just inspired, I think. Yeah. We were just really inspired by Brian Parker and the whole course at Horizon RC Fest. It was a lot of fun. So we're ready to do some crawling of our own here in our hometown. I see what happens. People watch our videos and they say, oh, Nate, you did it again. You made me buy something. People get mad at us. Now, when we go to RC events, it really gets you, doesn't it? It gets you, oh, I by the teeth and <laughs> I get you, the whole wallet just gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Look. So no. those aren't lights. There's no lights. Well, <laughs> they're basically light buckets. Light buckets. Yeah, there's no wiring for them. But you put your lights in there and then they look like super real headlights. Be fun. You know the best part about that body. You can hold two lights each. There's no, there's no holes in the Lexan body for body clips, hey, and so it looks even more realistic. Look at the tail lights. The tail lights are ready too. Ooh, ooh, and it looks like they have a, a yeah. three holes yes. for the turn signals. So yeah, you got. Or at least reverse lights. Yeah, red, red, and and, and a clear. clear. Oh, that's so cool. I, I'm a huge fan of Red Cat. You guys are too. You know, Arma has been killing it lately, but so has Red Cat. Red Cat's been killing it for the last couple of years, and they're just putting out some good stuff. Whew! 
Gen 8 on the RC Sailors. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to tune in very soon to see this crawling as well as some of the others. Maybe we'll go out with the Gen 7 and the Gen 8 together. That'd be fun. Surely. Like it to drive. Yeah. Well, what we could do, since this has such a flat hood, maybe I'll mount the GoPro to the front and we'll, I'll chase you around. So that means you get the Gen 7. But that means you get the cool light bar too. That is true. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye! Bye.